Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It is Pinky here today with a beautiful video about cream blush. Yes, I'm trying to get through my whole collection and then rank them and let you know which one I like the best and also start decluttering because I have so much stuff. So I'm going to start with the Cheeky Rose Cream Blush from Winky, Winky Lux. These are $20 a piece. You can or used to be able to get these at Ulta, so you can always wait for a 20 20% off sale, or sometimes these did go on sale, and that's when I picked them up, and I picked up three of the colors. So, today, I am actually wearing this one, and this is called Crown. Now, I don't wear a lot of blush. It's very light. I could show it to you right here. This is what it looks like. It's more of a peachy, kind of corally color, which you can see here. Now, these are in, like, plastic. And it's a little like globe, like a snow globe. And there it is inside. Just beautiful. So beautiful. You can see where I've used it quite a lot on the side. I don't want to just go in and use it. You can. I don't. I go to the side. I've used this one quite a lot. It's just beautiful. The whole thing, the whole aesthetic um, is very British. Cheeky Rose. <laughs> the names are very much so. So Crown beautiful and again i'm wearing this one today you can see very light kind of hard to see but still just beautiful i love this for just peachy natural you can wear this year round but like especially during summer and spring when you just want a fresh finish it's just so beautiful and then the next one basically is dodgy yeah it's dodgy it's kind of hard to see so the next one is dodgy and this is more of a pink just your standard light kind of baby pink, which you see there. Just really a pretty color. Again, you can wear this year round. I love this during the summer, but I use it all the time. So I'm not just gonna say, oh, I just use it during the summer, because it's lies. I use it all the time. I am making sure I didn't switch this out. So dodgy, another Brit term. And it's just gorgeous. And you can see that I'm wearing it here in this picture. I have it with this. It's just a pretty light pink look just very fresh beautiful um the first two colors are a little bit more suited towards i would say light or fair to like medium light skin tones they have about five different colors so but these i would say are a little bit more heading in that direction the last one i think would work on more skin tones and this would be oops no, that's right it's called knickers and it's basically underwear in Brit speak. There you go. I'm sure y'all knew. You're all like, yeah, no joke. Just in case. <laughs> just in case. So there you go. This one's just beautiful. Here's a picture of me wearing it. This one's beautiful. I love this one. I want to go for, and here's what it looks like here. It's the one at the end. It's brighter. It's a brighter, bold pink. It's funny because, oh, well, it does look pinky here, but I, I was thinking it was a little bit more red than it really was. I was going for dark red, but it really does read as more pink when you put it on. And it's just beautiful. It's just very fresh, especially during the winter if you just want to do red lips and very light eye shadow like I kind of have today with a bold cheek with the lips. It's just beautiful. It's that winter face where it's just like, oh, I've been outside and, oh, my cheeks are red. I never look like that, let me tell you. I look, <laughs> I look horrible. I'm so pale. It's like my whole face is like, Gah. Um, it doesn't quite look that pretty and romantic. Let me tell you, but that's why we have makeup. <laughs> so there you go. But it's absolutely beautiful. They're just beautiful. And if I was to choose a favorite, I don't think I would. I, I, I just don't think I would. So the reason why this is red here is you can see where I went in really with my finger and dug, like dug into that dug into this and put it on the arm. With this, this is how it looks when you smooth it out a bit. What I like about this formula is it's very workable, extremely workable. You could build it up or you could be extremely light depending on how fair you are. I've worked with some cream blushes where you put it on and yikes, you can't move it. You have to move quickly or it just stays on your cheek and it just, it can look garish or clownish. Not the case with these. These are really easy to work with. What I like is the formula is very cream. Like some will just be cream. 
and that's it. These go cream to powder, so the more you use it, the more powdery it gets, and I think it's to help set. So I kind of like that because I don't like to use powder on my cheeks. I just don't like to use powder in general. I love a very dewy complexion. Even when matte was all the rage, I was dewy. <laughs> That's just how it is. That's how I like to wear my makeup. I just feel it's more fresh. When I tend to use powders, I'm like, wait, I didn't realize I had lines there. I just don't like, I don't like it. I don't like the way it settles. I've seen it in pictures and I'm like, yikes. I just don't. So for me, no. I just, I like dewy. And this is just gorgeous. These are just gorgeous. The thing is that if you do use them a lot, they will start to dissipate. So you just you could just add more on. They're, what I like is you could build them up very well, very well. They build up beautifully. But if you overdo it, they will disappear. So don't go crazy. But even if you do and it disappears, you can add more and it builds up beautifully. Very natural to a little bit more, oh, you really got the blush on today. And that's okay. So as far as wear time, the wear time on these. So I have very oily skin. I don't powder. If I use powder, I don't think this would be the case. But I found that these tend to disappear at the three to four hour mark for me they'd really start to fade because I think the, the oil got too much for them. So they would kind of disappear. I think if you had neutral or combination skin, unless it was really bad oily T-zone, which happens with a lot of combinations, then it may not be as happy for you. Um, if you have dry skin, these may work better for you. It doesn't mean that I don't like them or they don't work for me. They do. It's just I may have to carry them around and reapply later. That's not my aesthetic. I'm too lazy, so I don't do that. So once it's done, it's done, and I go, ooh. People are like, you sick? <laughs> no, I'm just really fair. That's my life story. So these are really great, but if you have oily skin, you may want a powder, and it may help you. I didn't test that. It probably would. For me, it did not work past the three or four hour mark. But that does not mean that I don't like these because I do like these. I do. I think they're beautiful. I love them. I will use them all. Would I buy them again? Probably not. Not because they did anything wrong. It's more of I have so many cream blushes. And this one didn't necessarily last as long as I would like. Though I love the formula, I just wish it lasted a little bit longer. But that's on me because I refuse to play by the rules of powdering. And I just have oily skin. And that's okay. Does that mean that I would declutter any of these? Absolutely not. I would use all these. And that's the whole point is to use everything and declutter. I won't declutter these because I actually really love these. I think they're absolutely beautiful. And I love these. I love them. So will I get rid of them? No. Do I think they're good? Absolutely. Would I repurchase? No, because I refuse to play by the game. So there you go. That is my review of these beautiful products. Let me know what you think below. If you use cream blushes and you have oily skin such as myself, let me know which ones you really like. I'm curious to hear how others feel. Um, I'm really curious. You oily skin people, let me know what works for you because I'm listening. And I may have it because I have tons of cream blushes. But with that, have a fabulous day, my friends. Bye.